In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased. Today, normally full of tourists, it is absolutely deserted. It has spread far and fast. The British government here is kind of just trying to pace the country. The health authorities have activated their most serious response. I happened to travel to the UK right before everything got crazy. Now I'm here and a bit unsure of what to do. I think everyone can agree on feeling anxious and unsure. I filmed a video before this one and before I understood the coronavirus chaos, but I wanted to release this one first as the most recent one to address what's going on. Okay, so what was it like at the supermarket? It was a mess. There was no absolutely, eggs. yeah, though I took some pictures. Yeah. They're preparing to go into lockdown, so. <laughs> See, I'm not going to be in this country where I don't have any money at all by myself in my Airbnb on lockdown. Yeah. It's scary. No bananas. No bananas. This was the egg section. <sighs> it's getting bad now. Yeah. We're going to go yeah. off on our own during the apocalypse. It's like Ooh, the worst thing to do. Yeah, you have to have a community. Very scary time. Me going home wouldn't really do anything because it just made me more depressed, I feel like. It's everywhere. Anyways, yeah. Well, like, for now, it's not hit the U.S. and like America's so bad. Mm -hmm. It hasn't like not not as bad as here. Like, no more antibacterial wipes in the supermarket. Had to make your own. It's an antiseptic, basically. Perfect. So you put like a spoonful of that in like a liter of water, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, maybe I'll take Purell maybe I'll take two morning, of these. But, uh, it's not. Yeah, take, take I'm gonna take two. Purell said this morning in, in like the madness that, oh, by the way, that 99.9% .9 thing we said, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's time to come clean about that. Yeah. I have a mask and I have gloves in case we need those. And I have my wipes. And I'm gonna go out and let's go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. I need to go. I haven't been in the gym in like weeks now, which is absolutely insane for me. Just between traveling and all of the madness here. Stay safe, my friend. Thank you. Stay clean. Alright. Stay sanitary. I won't get infected. <sighs> it's not bad to be out. The only was bad is like public transportation and um, being around people. <laughs> Which, you know what, guys? I don't really be around people usually, so <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. This is the first time in um, England I'm going out by myself. This next week is going to be like beautiful weather but I feel like everyone's just going to be stuck inside but I've decided to stay here and wait it out because I don't have the money to go home I don't want to go home I already paid for an Airbnb here after my friend leaves and I don't want to keep traveling around because it's not the right thing to do right now life has no rule book for normal life and when life gets not so normal it definitely doesn't have a rule book nobody knows what we're supposed to do how long is this going to last? It could go on for months. No one has any answers, and that's the scary part. How do you open the door? Hi, tech here. This is stupid. Gold. Gold. They said they're taking extra precautions here at the gym. They're cleaning everything down. They leave me cleaning equipment out for everyone. Everyone's doing their part, so we're safe here. There still seems to be quite a few people here. But I'm gonna go work out now. I'm not gonna film it because I just really, I need a good workout. I worked out in like two weeks. So I'm gonna go do that. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm back from the gym. It's actually weird. We were talking about it and to, the only way to escape like hearing about the coronavirus is going out in like reality because it's like much less there than it is on social media. You go on social media and everything is about it. Like everything. I'm thinking maybe if this goes on long enough, I'll do a lot more live streams and maybe like some workout, home workout live streams so people can still work out while they're isolating themselves. But right now I'm going to do a is it mukbang? Mukbang um, of British food. I'm gonna show you guys on here like all the British foods. It's a lot, <laughs> but what else are we gonna do? Like we're we're inside. Like 
So this is the live stream. This is how we do it. This is happening. Yeah. My makeup? I put a lot of makeup on. <laughs> okay, hot grass buns. Yeah, Scone, yeah. crumpet. That's a baked oil salad. And then we have um, mom rights. And then we have... Clotted cream. And then jam. Clotted cream, jam. Custard. Custard. And spotted dick. And spotted dick. <laughs> so I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of live streams um, just at home in the next couple of months or month, maybe. Day three of the quarantine. <laughs> Self-quarantine. There's no rules of being quarantined yet, but today I literally didn't go outside. I didn't do anything. But, like I read. I was on my phone the whole day and I'm bored. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm moving to my Airbnb, but um, yeah, that's so I really did nothing today. Hopefully we won't have to do this too long. Oh, the hug. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I <laughs> love you. I think we're both safe. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Oh, I have a note for you. Oh, I'm going to the apocalypse. I'm just waiting for my Uber to take me to my Airbnb. I don't want to just like be totally 100% isolated from humans because it's really bad for me right now, but we'll see what happens. When it rains, it pours, I guess, and it's been pouring for a really long time. It wasn't the plan for my friend to leave so quickly, but she had to go and I have to be alone again. And that's just the way it is for now. Okay, so I'm moving to my new Airbnb. I don't know how loud I'm allowed to be yet, but um, I have to go to the bathroom, right? I don't know toilet paper. Obviously, everyone is dealing with this, but I thought since it would be an Airbnb, it, uh, it would be here. So I have to find her. Um, I need to get an, uh, money out and as well as an adapter for my laptop to edit on because I don't have an adapter to charge my stuff. And also food because I have no food either. So it is necessary for me to go out. Oh, look at the tree. Right, let's see how empty things are at the store. Open, everything is gone. I just need an adapter and I have no idea where to get one. I think in any disaster, it's always best to appreciate even the smallest things. Anything you can hold on to that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really terrified and I hate to complain about my state all the time, but being alone makes you not think correctly sometimes. It makes you desperate sometimes. I'm so grateful to have you guys here with me on my journey. I'm sorry that sometimes it's hard. I don't want to be scared, but I don't think anyone does. So I just got home on my super important mission and I successfully Acquired my loot. I was so surprised I actually found some stuff. Oh, like I got this adapter too, which is really nice. And I always forget everywhere I go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, stay safe out there. Yeah, leave some comments and we can talk because I'm super lonely and I have time to talk to you guys waiting this out. I hope we can build a community even more during this time because I think a lot of people are going to be lonely and 
I think it might be hard mentally, mental health wise. So I love you guys. Stay extraterrestrial, stay healthy, stay quarantined, and I'll see you in the next video.